A pair of prisoners on the run after escaping from the women's prison in West Edmonton are back in custody tonight. We have surveillance video of the arrest, but that's not actually the unusual part of the story. Is where the two women fugitives were found. Our Matt Woodman joins us in studio with more on the story tonight. Matt? Well, Daryl, the two women pictured behind me here were the ones who were running from police for about 24 hours after escaping prison Monday night. Police say 23-year-old Kelsey Lane Marie Mast and 20-year-old Samantha Faye Toop are violent offenders. Officers caught the pair at a downtown business called SideQuest Adventures. We had uh, two ladies come down the stairs uh, inquiring uh, as to what we did and what an escape room was all about. That's a pretty typical question. But these were not your usual customers, even if they did look the part. But they looked like our typical patrons, which was kind of the surprising thing. It's, it's almost a daily question for, for um, people to walk down and just ask about escape rooms. Rebecca showed the pair around, explaining that an escape room provides an adventure for teams who want to test themselves against different puzzles before time runs out. They just get to be kind of the hero of their own action story, that Indiana Jones moment. But Tuesday night was more like a scene from the movie The Fugitive, with police arriving just minutes later, asking questions about the two women. He asked if they had appointments with us. I said, no. Then he asked where they were and I pointed out their location. He called for some backup and he went around the corner. Four more police officers quickly came down the stairs. Very shortly after, they were cuffed and walked straight out. Leaving the escape room in an ironic twist of fate. They can't escape, yeah, from the escape room. But yes. they can escape from, from prison, yes. Which is the escape room you're not supposed to escape? Yeah, not sure what that says. Maybe uh, our escape rooms are a little on the difficult side. Right after the arrest, it was back to business as usual with another group trying their luck at escape rooms just a couple of minutes later. They were much more successful than the two ladies had been, so I think that was in their favour. And the owners of the escape room say they're relieved the arrest went so smoothly considering the prisoner's history. Toop is serving a two-year sentence for robbery, theft, and dangerous operation of a vehicle. Mass is serving a two-year, nine-month sentence for trafficking, theft, and mischief. Daryl. Right, a live report in studio tonight. Thanks, Matt. You're welcome.